Hi everyone, today's news headlines. NBC notifies on midterm examination for class 8, 9 and 10. Nagaland Health and Welfare clarifies on charging of Rs 1,500 per true net COVID test. Nagaland COVID-19 positive tally rises to 1,237 with 63 new cases today. Kohima Kizigi containment zone lifted. NSF denounces Nagaland government's profiling of its employees. Combating online exploitation of children e-workshop held. DC more notifies on use of N95 mask. Government issues advisory on non-COVID-19 patient coming to Nagaland for treatment. Make total lockdown in Koima meaningful or Zukam. NBC notifies on midterm examination for class 8, 9 and 10. The Nagaland Board of School Education NBSC Chairperson Mrs. Asano Shekosh notified all heads of institution registered with NBSC on midterm examination for classes 8, 9 and 10. A notification by the NBSC today stated that the midterm examination for classes 8, 9 and 10 shall be done through online or offline mode. No COVID-19 test fees for public, only for non-residents entering state. After much confusion and uproar about the Nagaland Health Authority stating to charge a fee for COVID-19 test, stipulated at Indian rupee 1500, the state's Directorate of Health and Family Welfare has on Friday, July 24, clarified that there will be no charge for COVID-19 testing for the public of the state. Clarifying news that was published on Friday, Principal Director Dr. Vizile stated in a handout that the SOP standard operation procedure, which the officer referred to, is not for returnees or general public requiring COVID-19 testing but specified for special categories of non-resident people who need to enter Nagaland for a short duration for urgent essential work or for unavoidable reasons. Nagaland COVID-19 positive tally rises to 1,237 with 63 new cases today. Nagaland COVID-19 positive tally rises to 1,237 with 63 new cases today. July 24, 2020, updated Nagaland Health Minister S. Pangyu Form at 11.36 a.m. Taking the Twitter, Pangyu Form updated that out of 372 samples tested, 63 new COVID-19 positive cases have been confirmed. Among the new COVID-19 confirmed positive cases, 41 cases are in Dimapur, 21 in Kohima and 1 in Peran, updated the Health Minister today. Kohima Kiziki Containment Zone Lifted Deputy Commissioner Kohima Grigori Tejawali NCS informed that in view of the detection of COVID-19 positive person at Kiziki Colony Kohima Municipal Ward No. 3 was declared as a containment zone wide notification on July 8, 2020, whereby various restrictions were imposed to contain the spread of disease or infection and the zone or area was kept under strict and active medical surveillance and movement within the zone was restricted or prohibited to the public. Accordingly, contact tracing of the COVID-19 positive person was carried out by the CMO coordination team led by the district surveillance officer and epidemiologist Koima and all the primary and secondary contacts with identified and tested for COVID-19 and found to be COVID negative. In total, 232 households were visited and 216 contacts were traced, out of which 5 were high-risk contacts and 211 were low risk contacts. NSF denounces Nagaland government's profiling of its employees. The Naga Students Federation NSF has condemned what it termed as malicious exercise undertaken by the state government through the Home Department political branch dated July 7 by directing all the head of departments to obtain information from the government servants regarding family members and relatives in underground organization. The NSF in a statement issued on Thursday denounced usage of the term underground to refer to the Naga national workers. The Federation reminded the government that the unique history and situation of the Naga people has been officially recognized by the government of India after which a long-drawn political negotiation ensued. NSF therefore stated that it was unbecoming to refer the torch bearers of the internationally recognized movement in a manner which undermines the mutual respect and understanding reach between the Naga political groups and the government of India, accusing the state government of evading all rationally by resorting to profiling its employees, the NSF which claimed to represent the voice and aspiration of the Naga youth and students affirmed that it would not allow such issue to happen under its watch. 
This attempt by the government of India reeks of influence that advisories of the Naga people to subordinate the hard-earned peace in Naga inhabited areas by holding the family members of our freedom fighters as hostage. Such an attempt will only prove counterproductivity as the flame of the cause that is just and fair can never be put out from the hearts and minds of the Nagas. The statement read. Next one, combating online exploitation of children e-workshop health. An e-workshop was conducted on July 23, 2020 by Nagaland Police in collaboration with International Justice Mission on the topic Combating Online Exploitation of Children. Nagaland Police felt need to address the threat that comes along with it, the undeniable benefit from the internal connectivity for education and entertainment for children at this time of pandemic. The press release issued by Superintendent of Police Crime and PRO said that the first of its kind e-workshop was organized on the subject to spread awareness. More than 90 participants from different departments like National Informatics Center, Social Welfare Department, School Education Department, Information Technology and Communication and police officials from different district headquarters attended the e-workshop. DC Mon notifies on use of N95 masks. Tavasil and K notified that in view of the direction given by Ministry of Health and Family Welfare Government of India on N95 masks, it is advised that N95 masks with valve respirator not to be used except which specified for you. According to DIPR report, Mon DC cited that the use of valve respirator N95 masks has been found detrimental to the measures adapted for preventing the spread of coronavirus as it does not prevent the virus from escaping out of the mask. Therefore, he encouraged all people to use homemade protective masks as per advisory available on the website of MOHFW, Government of India. And the next one, Government issues advisory on non-COVID patients coming to Nagaland for treatment. The Department of Health and Family Welfare, Government of Nagaland, in the interest of public health, has issued the advisory on patients coming to Nagaland for treatment of non-COVID health problems and to mandatorily observe the following parameters. To produce the following documents at the point of entry as well as the hospital. Negative COVID-19 test report done by real-time RT-PCR, gold test of the patient as well as attendance, acceptance letter for the referring in hospital that is the hospital where patient will be treated. Only one attendant per patient at a time will be allowed inside the ward during hospitalization. And the next one, make total lockdown in Koima meaningful Ozukam. Minister of Housing and Mechanical PWD Ozukam on Thursday appealed to the citizens of Koima to make the total lockdown me meaningful and fruitful. Ozukam has issued his statement following the decision of the Koima District Task Force to impose a total lockdown within the Koima municipal areas from July 25 till July 31. The minister maintained that the decision to impose a total lockdown under Koima was taken due to the rising number of COVID-19 positive cases being detected outside the quarantine centers and concerns shared from various corners. Ozukam, who is the minister in charge of Koima Task Force for COVID-19, stated that people should understand this lockdown as an emergency protocol enforced for the benefit of all. Imposing total lockdown does not fully guarantee that we will be free or we are free from the coronavirus, but at least other to the government order during the lockdown since movement of people is restricted to a large extent, he stated. That's all for today. To get such latest news, don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.